Hello and welcome to another episode of Goa Wants to Know. Today's program, we have Mr. Reginald Camilo de Costa, who is the president of the Samaji Brigade. What is this new party about and why is it making foray into the Goan politics? You have a right to know. Mr. Reginald de Costa, welcome to our program. Thank you, sir. Yeah. My first question on behalf of the people of Goa is, what made you venture into politics? I am not come into politics. Politics shouldn't be a business. Now, people themselves have made politics a business. Within these two, three days, I've seen like people are just coming to meet me and they're grabbing some. They are helping me, they are saying, by voting me. But they need some help financially. So, in that way, I feel our politicians who are working for the people, they are right and what they are doing by switching off from here to there. Because we, when you all are voting us, after taking some money, so even the politicians have the rights to jump wherever they want. Till date, now last 15 days I have seen people are visiting me and saying we want uh, to vote you, but we are having some financial problems. I said that is every person from Goa having us some or the other problem. So that doesn't mean the voter, will, the candidate or whoever has come for the election should finance you all. If you all are asking some finance, if you all are taking any help from that party or that candidate, he has the right to sell your votes. So basically you want to change the system. It has to be changed. People says, Bodal Zauchana, first think what you all are doing. You all are asking or you all are taking the money, whichever politician are helping you all. You all are taking it. It's the biggest crime what you all are doing to increase the crime in politics. So it so happened on the 11th of December, I had already said, there was an incident at my hotel. It's a hotel at Ronaldo's Old Goa. I was visited by the owner of Cadillac Casino who tried to insult me by saying that he'll close down my hotel if I do, don't achieve his demands. His demands were, I had my guest in the rooms. Well, he had booked 26 rooms with us and 14 were check-in, like walk-in customers in my hotel. He demanded me to remove two clients which he was sure were prostitutes. I said, if you are sure they are prostitutes, how are you claiming that they are prostitutes? That means you are doing the business with them. And this was the level of clock is demanding me to remove those two clients from my room. So I said, that can't be according to the rules of Goa government. I said, even the CM can't remove them at night level of clock. After removing them, I'll be in a problem. I said, you having 26 room, you can demand me to remove and I am ready to remove each and every 26 rooms of yours. But then he said, if you are not ready to listen to me, I will shut down your hotel. I said, what do you mean by shut down my hotel? So he said, Deko mai kya garda ho? So after that, we had a quarrel where he left. And after that, at night 2 o'clock, a PI from Old Goa police station comes and he threatens my staff that you all are doing prostitution. He goes to those two rooms Specifically, what Madhu had, the owner of the casino had told me, he goes to the rooms and he is asking the customers, their IDs and all. I said, no doubt they are prostitutes, but when you are coming to find out where they are prostitutes or what they are, you should bring an NGO with you, right? Yeah. He didn't bring any one of them. He and one assistant of his, Mr. Malik, who is his assistant. PSI Malik had come, they started abusing my staff, they are starting abusing that customer of mine. No doubt she must be a prostitute. But I am on my part, I can't tell whether she was or not. But he was sure that means he has done some business with them. So after that, my question is why the PI came to my hotel? After that, I went to Mr. Satish Dhond, who was a very close friend of mine. So he took me to the CM directly at his bungalow, but CM was not there unfortunately on the bungalow. He was at the one bhavan, that is the forest department. Yeah. 
सो आय मिस्टर सतीश दोन वी मेट सी एम तो सतीश दोन टोल मी कुकी सांग एक वॉट इज युअर प्रॉब्लम हमें म्हणले सर असे असे झाले ऑन द लेवल्थ नाईट ॲट लेवल व क्लॉक दिस पी आय कम अँड ट्रॅटन्स माय पीपल दॅट वी आर डुईंग प्रॉस्टिट्युशन वॉट वॉज व्हेरी रॉंग ऑफ दॅट पी आय वी आर कम यू हॅव टू डू बिझनेस इफ आय हॅड प्रॉस्टिट्युशन बिझनेस he would have been knowing better than me because yeah. he is a pi he knows everything what is going in goa so i am i requested the cm he called up the pi in front of me he shouted at him how did you dare to go to ronaldos without a warrant he said no sir i had got a call from the 100 number so the cm mr pramod savan himself asked him tu ka shambhar number asun phone yel yello mare aav aata tu ka phone karta आणि सांगता मॅरियट आणि प्रॉस्टिट्युशन चालू आहे ओ ताज आणि प्रॉस्टिट्युशन चालू आहे डू यू हॅव द गड्स ऑफ गोईंग दे हाऊ डिड यू डेअर टू गो टू रोनाल डोज राईट नाव दॅट वॉज इन द नाईट टेन थर्टी ऑर लेवल थर्टी ही सेड आय वॉन्ट यू ॲट वन भवन विथ द फाईल सो आय वॉज रिअली हॅपी ऑन दॅट डे लाईक द सी एम इज रिअली देअर टू गिव्ह अस जस्टिस सो सेकंड डे इट सो हॅपन मिस्टर Desai is the DYSP of Panjim. He called me up. He said, can you come? I have some personal work with him. With me, sorry. And I went to him. He was sitting with a gentleman whom I was unaware of. Who is he? So he told me, uh, he is Mr. P.A. from Old Goa Police Station. I said, okay, sir. So he said, you have given a complaint against him. So we want you to withdraw the complaint. I said, I have not given it in return. I have only given the CM till date. Yeah. So he said, Teeth complaint, Mashi Porod Gya. I said, Why, sir? He is saying that's a mistake what's happened to, through him. I said, I'm ready to take the complaint back, but please bring Mr. Madhu in front of me and show him that he can't stop my business. I requested the PI, please give him legally two slaps on him and tell him you can't rule Goa. He said, That is. out of the rule so i said you coming to my hotel was it in the rule did you bring all the ngos all the staff did you do anything legal no you only came to threaten my staff and those prostitutes whom madhu had declared and you have given them the rights of doing prostitution right so he said i'm sorry for that and i was not knowing you are so influ- influential person i'm sorry for that i my answer to the goans just because i am a influential person the pi is saying sorry to me yeah if i am not influential what is politics so i was worried like why have the cm not yet given him a suspension letter so i went to mr satish dond again and asked him sir kida dale so he said cm is gone to delhi so i came down one of a close friend of mr cm calls me up and saying kuki at any cost you can't suspend them i said what is the reason so the reason was given to me was malik is a close relative of the cm and is a voter of the cm in his constituency okay if he is suspending both of them at least 500 votes of the cm are getting less okay that is why cm has requested me wait till the election okay. so my respect has to be waited if this new cm is coming in power so should i wait so after that i thought of starting this party so i started a party with the name of rising sun that is both rising sun is a hot sun which is coming to goa now and it's i am the sun of goa so after that i w- was supposed to register the party but unfortunately the code of conduct came down so i couldn't register my party so there was one party who offered me four seats that was shiv sena so i said i don't want four seats sir I want 40 to be contested you contest on your name I'll I'll be supporting all the 40 candidates so he said nah tula fakta char seat hai so I didn't agree with that okay after that I called up one of my friend he said I am a uh, candidate as a MLA for so and so party which is all over India Sambhaji brigade so I joined that party as a Goa president only to fight the politics of goa which will be discontinued after this election and i'll be coming up with my party 
with my heart open not for politics but i don't want any of my goons to go and they shouldn't get justice from this government whichever government comes in power so my question to you is जायतो पार्टी आसो तुम्हें संभाजी ब्रिगेड तीस पार्टी क्या चूज के आय वेंट टू आम आदमी पार्टी सो द आम आदमी पार्टी पर्सन टोल्ड मी सो आई सपोज टू फाइनेंस एम आई टोल्ड एम यू आर लिसन टू मी वॉट आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑल इफ यू आर लूज आई गिव यू माई एंटायर हॉटेल ऑफ फोर फ्लोर्स विथ फोर्टी रूम्स वन बैंकेट हॉल एंड अ सेपरेट मोर ट्वेंटी रूम्स आर विच आर गोइंग टू कम आफ्टर द एफ एस आई आई गिव यू द एंटायर हॉटेल विच मस्ट बी in today that more than 25 to 30 crores if you all lose the election after my manifesto i will give you all that entire hotel to you so he said right now we have decided the cm i said who is the cm so he had told me before and i had told you before they de are declaring the cm last interview that they told me they are declaring a bandari samaj cm i said why a bandari so you all are come here to play politics no bandari is having 70% of the votes so i said you all are come here to goa to play the vote bank you all are not come here to goa to clean goa right so he said na aisa nahi hai hamara hai you are the party president of goa not mr arvin kejriwal so he told me hum aapko dcm ka post offer karte hain kyunki humne deputy cm catholic banana ka socha hai so i said i am a person who is paying taxes for the full year which your deputy cm will earn in 5 years i am paying that much of taxes legally to the goa government or india government i am not come here to play politics wo to chodo fir aap hame kya offer kar sakte ho that was his question i said the phone what i am using that also i won't give it to you for free i am not come here to distribute my what i have earn with my hard earns so that's why i left aam aadmi party then i approached mr manoj parab the to be cm of goa that people think but he is making people a fool by introducing he wants pogo bill would be brought but he is he giving us a statement because to introduce the pogo bill you want a central also to be passed out yeah. have we done that so in the manifesto i have said i'll do the pogo bill but if everyone are ready if all the 21 candidates of ours the mlas yeah with the unity gets ready we can pass the bill in goa government then we'll go to central. delhi government for the central right yeah so mr manoj parab i have called him several time i have sent lot of whatsapp messages but he is much more busier than the dep the new cm the sorry the old cm mr pramod sawant he has not given me a single call back so should you trust Man manoj so i left him at a side okay i went to meet the congress head i have never met the tmc because she is out of reach mamta banerji also and that lady who is the president i couldn't meet her no one could i have no influence to go to her so i went to meet mr rahul gandhi because at the end of the meeting of aam aadmi party they tell me we are ready with your ideas please bring congress with us we are ready with all your ideas so that's why i went to meet mr rahul gandhi with my influential friends who is a mla in bombay he is uh, one of my friend is sitting as a mla in goa he told me that starting to meet mr gandhi i have to give a legal donation of 25 lakhs Oh. the people who goes to meet them they want to remove two and a half crores or 25 crores so they will invest the 25 lakhs why should i invest i said i want to meet him to clean the politics of goa so basically you have approached all the other parties and yeah. you have found out that uh, your way of thinking or your idea or my idea is non corruption and their idea never can they stop the corruption so therefore you started your own party which is i didn't is, start my party yet i have joined yeah i have joined sambhaji brigade their manifesto says they they are only with the marathas so in goa this party can't work in future i agree to that that's why i want to come up with my party which will be a rising sun which can go anywhere in the india but that's my word 
as a party president or the uh, in future my party will be there i will be not contesting and i won't be letting a contestant of my party who is not less than a graduate a people in today's date if they thinks a graduate wastes his 25 years to study and after doing that if he can't do anything for the world what is the use of studying any like me i am only i had only appeared ss if i start and if i become a cm every child will think why should i study yeah he'll say are ami ayet poson cm ja posta gube rahuya jitlar ami cm so in future if my party coming in power none of the candidate should be less than a graduate a person who has invested his time to become a graduate will think 10 time before talking about corruption that is my aim of having so that's why i have two candidates with me that is my wife who is a master of arts and my sister in law who is a graduate in accounts my wife will be sitting from mandrem and my sister in law will be sitting from sholem and i am ready to support all the 40 contestants against the congress against the aam aadmi against the bjp okay. i don't count mr manoj parab because he doesn't have his own cm yet so i am counting this three parties because they are having the cms in the states who have done something good in the states and has come to do something good in our state but our state i would request each and every go on let us make it 100% corruption free when you all are demanding or you all are taking the bribery which the person the candidate is coming to your door step you all yourself are increasing the corruption which yeah. will give effect to your children yeah that's true so uh, let us talk about your party agenda you yeah. have listed out a number of things would you like yes. to highlight some three or four issues that you want to take up on so priority? my party agendas are given whatever all the parties of goa have promised you all the first thing is pogo bill that is if all the 21 mlas are ready it has to be introduced all government aided school education water and electricity has to be free for the goans our goa government is so funded that they can easily if there is no corruption in goa has to give all this thing free with a limited now if i am giving you a free of water if it's free everyone would like to put a swimming pool in his house right yeah so it should be up to a particular yeah. everyone will say we want 10 acs in my house like i am having 10 acs in my bungalow so even you all will require so it should be free for a limited extent extent yeah it, medicine will be free only the medicines what we being in the government will produce will be free the medicines the doctors has to be free in each and every constituency that should be at least two health where the doctors has to be there 24 hours yeah and you have also promised that every woman head of the family will get 5000 that is my sister miss mamta banerji has promised so i have put in all the manifesto like the water free electric free uh health and this thing free what already they are saying i have not gotten see and manoj had no time to go and see whether he has given it free or no he had time to see both the bungalows he had time to see the cm bungalow he had time to see the manish sisodia's bungalow are why are you seeing what they are doing what good has he done to delhi government please have a look on that i have not gone to be frank but he is saying he had done and he'll do it in goa yeah one of the important things which are part of your manifesto yeah. is that you want to focus on agriculture yeah. and you want people to cultivate their land see now i was born and brought up in bombay it must be 15 year i was a child i used to come to a native place amcha goran konut nan so i used to ask them ki gela shaitan gela can you see my goans in the agriculture no but i'll say 25 years back people used to do agriculture yeah. where are our goans they don't want to work they only want to give lectures to others 
at the age of 10 years old i started working on a sandwich stall in mumbai i have bought my family up so you all should work whatever is the job i started from that sandwich stall i had my own business of crackers uh, what they say kites potong manja sogla ikla from my childhood i am a very famous star in dadar i have a hotel in dadar i stay in dadar maja tumi dadar wason icharat kuki kon my name is reginal camillo de costa gifted by my father but people knows me as kuki dadar i stay in dadar means before 15 years back i used to stay in dadar i shifted to goa for the last 15 years tumi wason dadar an icara kuki kon there are some uh, two societies with 650 flats there's no one who talks when i talk in that society out of the 650 members i'll name both the societies one is ashirwad society and one is ram cham krupa society in dada you can question them who is cookie of yours is the head of both the societies where i used to stay separate and my mother-in-law my wife used to stay separate we used to stay in a wadi that is nikam wadi jalan wadi so i have done something for them so, so, so basically what I wanted to come back to that point of agriculture, what has happened is that in Goa, agriculture has become costly, hmm? it has become difficult hmm? and also there is a lot of pressure on the land from the builders. So basically agriculture has picked up during the time of COVID where people yes. have gone back to agriculture and also now we have also done documentary on that, that there are a lot of people who are introducing mechanical plantation mechanical cultivation yeah so would you support this kind of initiative i'll support if i'm not in the government also people who have their land who wants finance for their uh, agriculture i'm ready to finance them with the interest lesser than the banks okay uh, among the other things which you have mentioned is uh, when you talked about this issue of corruption you also said that you will get rid of the recent recruitments which have been done by the government. It's not me. This is promised by our dear Congress party. So I want that whatever you all have promised. Like if you remember in 2014 someone had promised us that he will be giving us 15 lakhs of rupees. His agenda was 15 lakhs in the 2014. And even I was happy that he became a prime minister and he was the only source like I thought after he becoming the prime minister, he is nothing less than Hitler. So he should have stopped the corruption all over India. But he is a person I feel from my heart has not done anything against corruption. Now, one of the things which you mentioned about his government jobs was that if the candidates pass, you would have a lottery system. So I was very much interested to know what is this lottery system. Now, when the child, after investing his life for studies, he goes, he passes out his exams and he has been demanded for 25 lakhs for a job and 9 lakhs for the constable jobs. What that family who has invested on that child has brought that child up and seen that he has he has been educated properly but after that what is it if you have 25 lakhs you are getting a pwd job if you are 9 lakhs you are getting a uh, constable job so how can you blame the government government people who are in the jobs when they have got the job through corruption how can you blame those people i can't blame anyone so it should be transparent after passing out in the exam all the members who has passed out should be put in, in a lottery and whoever comes out has to be declared as the candidates after that we can say we have stopped corruption in goa goa government should be like people say i swear in the name of god no they should swear in the name of government of goa that is my aim for goa Goa is not a vast State. thing. You can surely start it if people wants it. But people wants. Are kon yaila kitle dita? Don't do all this. So you all are 
introducing corruption so today yes. itself before coming to meet you i met mr parsekar the ex cm of goa he is saying sir your idea is very good but i have to fund some people that's it sir leave those votes whom you have to fund tell them after i becoming a mla if i have not done anything for you all then i will fund i will see to it that you get some or the other job the agricultural jobs there are people who should wipe the full area of where you stay you give them that job you introduce your panchayat like panchayats are funded by the state government right yeah. they will remove a contract of your area for 5 lakhs rupees tell them give it to a panchayat then you are auction that Road for five to ten lakhs, twenty lakhs, whatever it is, that extra money should be in the panchayat. Make the panchayat rich. Like yeah. I will, I I'll say I have visited lot of panchayat. I am having my business in Mapsa, in Panjim, in uh, Old Goa, in Baga, in Morjim. I had a bungalow. All these panchayats, to be frank, were not well funded. Yeah. So the punch had to demand me something because whenever they themselves say, "Arey panchayat ek uber aapa khauche kam nu poiche dae," why, why you all need money to do something if you are well funded? Then come and stand as a candidate for the panchayat, right? Yeah. Or I am saying I have been in the I have a bungalow in Taligao. I won't say anything, but till date there is nothing. There was one problem. For me, where the punch had come, but he didn't demand me the money in that area. So the panchayat should be like Taligao panchayat. It is funded by one. You all call him a rapist. You all call him whatever it is. But he has made Taligao a beautification. If you all can see Taligao, and if you compare the forty states, a uh, forty constituencies of Goa, can you all please, please compare? Taliga against all the forty con. I can't. Okay, the last thing that I wish to uh, question you about is that you have asked for an all-party alliance. Yes. And in this, you have said one percent share of the total revenue of the state should go to the parties to stop corruption. Now, if you sell your flat, don't you give one percent to your broker? Now, if these parties who are working so hard. now i am starting my own party do you think it will come free of cost so if i am investing so should i rob from the government no let them take a 1% or let the people decide it should be 0.1% in that 0.1% also they can rule and they can easily take their party to the biggest party in the world not only in india but where will the party get their funds through corruption no it should be through what profit they are giving to the government if you are giving a profit to the government if you all are having loans for the government your party is not entitled to remove even a 0.1% from the government yeah if you all don't have loan if you all are keeping government loan free if you all are making government adani and ambani's what are adani and ambani's even they are the government of india they get all the privilege from the government so why don't you all make our government free why you all want corruption in india and in goa it's a small state if the goan wants goa can be much more richer than what is mr reliance dhiruba ambani and mr adani that's my promise to my goans so you have declared uh, two candidates what about the candidates for the other constituencies they can join me but the way now every in my constituency people are coming to me and demanding some money so i am not ready to give you all a single paisa so basically you are asking inviting educated candidate educated candidate not supported not funded but at least supported by their constituency of minimum first i thought of 40 people now i would request them to come with minimum 400 voters who should say yes he is a candidate who can clean my 
कॉन्स्टिट्युएन्सी तो बेसिकली आर प्रपोजिंग पीपल सपोर्ट पीपल सपोर्ट आई डोंट वांट मनी सपोर्ट अ पर्सन कैन इजीली गिव 2 टू 2000 टू अ कैंडिडेट एंड ब्रिंग मी 40 कैंडिडेट्स सो फ्रॉम द 40 एजेंडा व्हाट आई गिवन लास्ट मीटिंग ऑफ माइन आई एम स्विचिंग इफ टू 400 let me see if the people that really wanting a change in goa and i have full support for all the 40 constituency so uh, our uh, viewers would have heard mr reginald kamil dikosta about sambhaji brigade about his agenda for this election and about the kind of uh, principles he wants to introduce to clean up goan politics We thank you for joining us on this program. Thank you very much. Same here. Thank you. Thank you.